it, it's kind of astounding to see the damage that is still here a week later. This giant tree behind me still resting on power lines, damaging homes. Uh, 3,600 customers, Con Ed customers here in Queens still do not have power one week since the tropical storm. And Con Ed is not the only power company that right now is in some hot water. No air conditioning, no internet, no escape for thousands of Con Ed customers still without power in Ozone Park. If you go out, you're afraid to stay out too long. And if you're inside the house, you want to come out because the house is hot. Almost 100 degrees, no power. I have a deep freezer. I, it was full of food. I had to throw that out. More than 8,000 Con Ed customers in Westchester also without power overnight, even though the company promised the vast majority would be restored Monday night. My wife got a text message saying uh, the power was restored to our home. Nobody in my condo development had that power uh, restored. On Long Island, PSEG's president made this promise on Sunday that never panned out. We committed to making sure that most of those customers were back by today, midnight. Upwards of 30,000 didn't have electricity overnight. Elected officials now calling on PSEG to follow Con Ed's lead and reimburse customers for lost food and medication. Customers also want compensation. My entire refrigerator, everything's gone out of there. Um, what have we lost? We've lost a week of peace. I'm not paying for this month. I don't feel like I got the service. You know, it, it has been very, very tough. Governor Cuomo says Con Ed and PSEG did a lousy job preparing for this storm. He is now threatening to revoke both the company's licenses. Live in Ozone Park, Queens, I'm Katie Corrado, PIX11 News. All right, Katie, thank you so much.